Good morning, geeks. Welcome back to our channel. It is Tuesday morning, the next day after the boys went to Hawaii and they did reach safely. They got into the home with my mom and they're just perfectly situated and settled. So I'm so thankful for that, that they got there safely. I just got off the phone this morning with my new employer. So I will be reporting to work on Saturday as scheduled and on schedule. And I'm super excited to share with you what's coming for me. Uh, I had to wake up early this morning. You would think I would um, not have slept, but I actually did sleep about maybe four hours. I was up till 2.30 this morning waiting for the call that the boys got into the house safely. And then I was able to sleep for four hours and I was up early this morning because I had some uh, company come and grab some of the furniture to donate to the, lo the local domestic violence shelter uh, here in Utah. So I'm so thankful. And then I have some more things that's gonna be picked up today as well. So today is all about just clearing out the house of everything. And I'll basically just have my pill, my blanket, my clothes, and that's it <laughs> in this apartment, which is okay because come Thursday, I have the cleaner coming in to clean the house because I will not clean this house myself. And Friday, the carpet cleaner comes. Friday afternoon, my inspection. And Friday, I go and stay the night over at Dylan and Ollie's. And Saturday, I jump on the plane to get out to my new assignment. And I'll share that with you in another video, what type of job that I got. But at this time, I'm gonna share with you everything that's going on today, tomorrow, all the way up to our inspection. So this will be just a few days uh, in one video. So stick around and we'll take you on this journey with us. y'all i had to take a brief pause from all that cleaning packing and um yeah so i am going to pamper myself for the next hour and a half because i need it and i just need a little distraction right now so i bought myself here to do a pedicure because I need a pedicure because if you saw my feet they're nasty and I'm not showing it to you so yeah don't ask I'll show you the final product that's for sure but yes I am going to get myself a pedicure to keep myself distracted to take a break from all this craziness and to really refocus myself the best way to do that is by self-care y'all self-care and here I am, Zen Nails and Spa in Riverton. I've been here twice before, so this is my third time coming. I really like the place. Very, very, very efficient, fast, and um, it's very cheap too, so here I am. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not kidding when I say to really restart self-care, especially for a woman, you have to start with a pedicure. That is amazing, amazing. Then I went over to Ulta Beauty, right? To get a few things, right? Makeup, because you know, looking ratchet, gonna start my new job soon. And uh, I was a bit overwhelmed. I was so overwhelmed. I walked around the store for a good half an hour. I think I got maybe some eye patches and maybe um some eyebrow eyebrow you know kit right uh, and that was it that was it i could not color match i didn't know where to start if if you're not a makeup person like i am it's yeah 
it's just overwhelming. Yeah, I, I can't go in that store anymore, ever again. <laughs> I would rather just stick to online shopping, right? That's the best way to do it. Um, I was even looking for the spray mister and all this stuff. Yeah, no, they had like 12 different types. I was like, what, what, and what? Yeah, no, it just, it's not for me. Ulta Beauty is not for me. I'm just gonna, you know, age naturally, show up looking like this. No, I'm not. I I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna get something done with this face before I start my new job. But yeah, Ulta Beauty, yeah. No, that's not on the pampering list for me, for sure. And then of course, later on in the week, sometime before I leave, I'm gonna do my hair. Um, have it colored, right? Color all, Cover all this gray. Yes, guys, I have gray and I will cover it. And um, just going to my new job, into my new career, looking a little bit decent than looking like a three month ratchet, stay home case like I was this past three months, but it was so worth it. So, yep, that's the update. That's what's going on right now is, is all of this. And I cannot be more happy that everything is flowing in the way it's supposed to. Good morning, geeks. It is Thursday morning early in the morning i was up from 5 30 this morning because i had the condo cleaners come in at six so they're cleaning the condo right now and i am just hanging out waiting for a ride so i can get to town to do some errands but that is what's happening for today thursday Yesterday, I just stayed home. I didn't do anything or go anywhere. I waited for the last of the donated furniture to be picked up. And now the house is completely empty. So it's getting cleaned. Tomorrow, I have the carpet cleaner coming early in the morning as well. And then of course, the final inspection of the condo is tomorrow afternoon. I hand over the keys and I go over to Ale and Dylan's. And I just was thinking, of when I first arrived to the condo and now I'm leaving and this is almost two years so bittersweet very very bittersweet and this is also funny because it is my first time actually closing out a home because usually I'm the one that moves on to the next place and sets up and my family would stay behind and close up but this time they have moved on and I stayed behind to close up so yeah funny how the roles turn and uh, everything changes but just have to be flexible with the change right so the cleaners left it was four of them that came in took them two and a half hours to clean this entire apartment spotless oh my goodness I just gotta show you what they did amazing job Look at that. Everything is so clean. That tub is spotless. Going into Kia Ua's room, old room actually, they cleaned all of the drapes or the vines and inside of the water or the window paint. And then you gotta see the kitchen, okay? Okay, you know, I can maintain cleanliness, but to do the deep clean on the level these guys did it, phenomenal. Let me show Look you. Look at the freezer. I cannot show, I didn't show you before pictures, but all of this had like, it was all just stuff. The icebox had all this stuff and they cleaned it all out. I mean, look, even the Oh, it's all clean. The stove top, super shiny. Inside, so clean. Not one spot, it's like it's brand new. The microwave, super spotless. Oh my goodness. The pantry, they wiped down everything and they scrubbed the floors because it had all kind of stuff on the floors and it's gorgeous. I am super, super duper satisfied. What they did was phenomenal. I can check that off, check mark, off of the list of things to do. Condo is deep cleaned. And just to show you how empty everything is, let me show you. Everything 
gone everything. The only thing I have is my chair to sit in the corner. <laughs> That's it, everything gone. Everything is absolutely ready. All I have left is a carpet cleaners coming tomorrow and then these carpets will be spotless. Then I can hand the keys over to the property manager and I'll be done. So tonight's my last night in this condo. Yep, it's coming up to the end of this journey and this chapter of our lives. Good morning, geeks. It is Friday, my last day here in the apartment. Actually, I'm handing over the keys today. So this morning we have the carpet cleaner coming to clean all the carpets. And at three o'clock I have the property manager coming to uh, take her final look at the property before handing her over the keys. And it's super bittersweet. Let me tell you, it really, really is. The carpet cleaners came and left. Carpets are all done. Everything for the apartment is completed. Just waiting for the property manager to come so we can do a walkthrough. And because I don't want to be on the carpet because it's still wet, I am lying on the floor in the kitchen. <laughs> Have about another hour and a half before the property manager comes. There's my suitcase and my bag, ready to leave when she comes and does her final walkthrough. Dylan will come pick me up. Okay, so just so you know what we're leaving for the property manager, with the property manager when I first came, she gave me this and so I'm returning it back to her, which is kind of funny because through the tenure we've been here, people would normally lose it, but we kept it all, and I'll show you. These are what we're returning. The two garage door openers, the two house keys, the two mailbox keys, and the fob to get into the clubhouse and the pool area. So we were given this when I first moved in, now we're returning it back to her, and we did not lose any of it. Well, our time has come to an end. We had so many memories here. We loved every minute. We met so many wonderful people. We're so blessed and so thankful for just this chapter alone. The two years we had here was amazing. Simply and utterly amazing. Thank you so much, Utah. Thank you so much, Saratoga. We'll see you again.